So we've got Chris, we've got Amber, and we've got Jenna. Yes. Hello, welcome to Radio 1. Thank, Thank you. you. I've been doing a little bit of digging about you, just to see what I could find. Uh, Chris, is it true that you originally auditioned for Artie's part? Yes, I did, yes. What happened? Well, um, I, I went to the audition, and um, uh, the first thing Ryan said to me was, why do I have a feeling you've been in The Sound of Music? <laughs> and I said, well, I was Kurt in The Sound of Music when I was 14. And um, the next day I got a call from my agent saying, you know, they want you, but they don't want you for Artie, so they want you to come in and audition for this new role they're creating. And I thought, okay. And then I got there and I, I read that the new role's name was Kurt. And I thought, okay, maybe this has something to do with, with me, but I didn't want to jinx myself. Um, but uh, after I was cast, they did tell me that, yeah, it was, it was written for me. Amazing. I mean, having a, a position written for you. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, I can't believe it happened. Okay, Amber, uh, apparently, someone told me, you have a thing for men with braces on their teeth. Is I, that true? I don't know. Look. I don't <laughs> explain. <laughs> I mean, I'm not knocking it, like, you know, but... The pat like from separate stages of my life, like elementary school, the guy that I had a crush on had braces. Middle mm. school, the guy that I had a crush on had braces. And then <laughs> in high school, my prom date originally had braces. And then he got them taken off right before prom. Then you broke up with Mistake. Revoke the invitation. Like, yeah, so I was kind of like, you're still cute, but so your braces. So you realize now that you've said this on Radio 1, yes. that over the next time you're in London, there's going to be like, like a horde of men all with like, braces already on their in the US. <laughs> They're like, I have braces. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. And Jenna, yes. um, you were the only one, I don't know if this is true, but this is what I read, the only one out of everyone on Glee who actually went to Glee Club at school. That is true. Now, this is amazing, right? It's called show choir more often than right. not. And um, you really do. You're on your feet. You are dancing and you are, you know, trying to use any of the stools or boxes or something crazy like that. But you're definitely performing. Okay. That's for I'm, sure. I love it. Chris, mm. please explain. I just had the craziest Wizard of Oz dream. I got tired of walking down the yellow brick road and stole a munchkin's car. I did, poor little guy. What? Do you have <laughs> dreams like this all the time? Is this I, a normal I do. Thing? I, I do have some strange, awkward uh, dreams, yes. Do you eat cheese before bed? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They I say that so. gives you nightmares. Really? Does it? They absolutely. Well, it wasn't do. a nightmare. I mean, it was a nightmare for the munchkin, just not for me. I oh. mean, he had like a grant that the auto happened to him. Chris's <laughs> relationship with sleep is very odd. Yeah, yeah I. Uh, Chris I, went stealth on a munchkin. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I sleepwalk and I, I do all kinds of fun things when I'm unconscious. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wake up and, and scream sometimes. Yes, in people's faces. <laughs> in people's faces. Are you yeah. ever in a scenario where you're close enough to hear these screams? Yeah. Oh, um, mm -hmm. Yes, Am Amber um, knows uh, firsthand. <laughs> what, what did he scream? Oh, he just screamed. Just, uh, well, I mean, I, 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 for, I forgot you were there and I look over and there's a black woman next to me and, I, and I, I've never shared a bed in my life with somebody, so of course I screamed. <laughs> right in my face. Right in her face. Fine. <laughs>